Apple just released the first public beta of iOS 17. Here's how you can download it. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here, and after a month of developer testing, Apple has released the first public beta of iOS 17. It's available to download right now, and you can install it on your iPhone and test out all of the new features. So how do you get the public beta? Well, it's very easy to do. First, start by heading to beta.apple.com, and you're going to enter your Apple ID. Once you've done that, we're gonna grab our iPhone. We're gonna head into settings, then general, then software update. It might take a second, but you should see a new field below automatic updates up here that says beta updates. If you tap on that, you can actually sign in with a second Apple ID. So if you have a second one you're using for the public one, but the easiest way is just to sign in with your iPhone with the same Apple ID that you signed up on Apple's beta testing website. But you should see a list of off, no beta updates, but you should see iOS 17 public beta. Tap on that and go back and it'll refresh the page, searching for a new update. And because the first public beta is available, you should see the public beta of iOS 17 ready to download and install on your iPhone. So what are the biggest new changes with iOS 17 that I've been loving from the past month of usage? There are a few of them. First, I love the new AirDrop experience, just bringing these two phones together. There's that haptic feedback of your phone vibrating as it like passes off that information to the second phone. Really cool to do. I love standby mode, being able to place my iPhone bedside, on my desk, wherever it is, turning it sideways on that MagSafe charger and having whatever I want displayed, whether it's a photo album, whether it is widgets, whether it is a live activity that is ongoing in the kitchen. There's so many things to do. Standby mode may be by far my favorite feature of iOS 17. Other new things I really like include the new tvOS 17 feature of FaceTime where you can use your iPhone and take a FaceTime call directly from your Apple TV. There are interactive widgets that you can actually use while they are on your home screen. So I can turn off like the lights in the studio or in the bedroom without having to open up any specific HomeKit app or any other of the uh, interactive widgets that are available right now during the beta. And AirPods Pro got a big update. With a new update to AirPods Pro, there's adaptive audio that can automatically tune the balance as you are listening for transparency mode and noise cancellations. You can hear people talking around you, spin up noise cancellation when there's something loud going on. It's really cool. Such a big change for AirPods Pro users. There's a whole lot to explore inside of iOS 17 and I've been putting together a whole playlist of videos on iOS 17 that is linked in this video and down below in the description. So check that out if you wanna see the biggest features coming with this update. Let me know if you try iOS 17. Find me down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. I'm also over on threads if you wanna head that way, Andrew O'Hara 941, because of course Instagram doesn't have my handles this late in the game, but you can find me there as well. Throw up your questions and otherwise stay tuned because I have a lot more software update videos coming here on Apple Insider.